man manik there's one more interesting thing which is uh, happening uh, in india like we are churning out unicorns uh, at a breakneck speed in india uh, we turned unicorn this year as well and yes congrats think, thank you and and i think when you are in that that sort of phase where you're blitz scaling essentially the only thing that matters is growth are you capturing more market share we like you would we would make trade offs like if i want to grow i am willing to have like a suboptimal expensive infra but i want to get my job done you're in that mode where nothing else matters but growth in that sort of a sort of war zone how should a product person like change or tweak their way of operating yeah you know um so firstly that's a great problem to have right and mm-hmm. and, and and i think sometimes sometimes people miss that context uh people get very stressed right mm-hmm. like when things are like going at that kind of a pace and what now they're like are we doing the right thing why are we making all these decisions we are accumulating all this technical debt and i don't know how are we ever going to come out of it mm-hmm. um you know we are moving too fast we should take a pause and those sort of things things you know reflect on it all those are really valid concerns i don't want to trivialize any of them mm-hmm. but ultimately if you're growing and you're growing really fast that's mm-hmm. a good thing we should recognize that and we should really be proud of that right i, I it, it, it's it's a little bit you know there are a lot of people who are hyper organized i'm i am actually one of the people who is super super organized about everything in life and so on mm-hmm. i also struggle with that right which is sometimes when things are going too fast i'm like i'm losing control mm-hmm. right like I, you know i'm losing control in terms of i don't know everything that's going on and why are people making these decisions and all that like i want to be in the flow or what not but you have to sort of take a step back and say no no if it's growing and teams are doing well i think that's a good thing so that's that's sort of a meta point i wanted to make because you know people should understand that um i think on the on the things around or, or some of the things that you mentioned as 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 things are going one is i i feel that the time to market and getting the product out in front of the customer especially in a growth scenario is the most critical objective function so mm-hmm. what that means is uh, by de- by design what that means is that uh you'll have to make some trade offs right mm-hmm. one of the trade offs that ends up getting made is um is or at least it comes on the table for discussion is are we going to accumulate technical debt what mm-hmm. i mean by that is are we going to put together a hacky solution mm-hmm. versus a perfect solution mm-hmm. uh because you know the perfect solution is going to take some time but if you put a hacky solution and it starts scaling then we have to kind of go and rip it out and put the perfect solution in there and that's a hard hard discussion right yeah. i have through the years of my experience i have never almost come across a situation where the hacky solution was not the right answer mm-hmm. right in a high growth scenario so i would always advocate for the hacky solution but with a caveat which mm-hmm. is i would let the engineering team make that call right okay. because because that, that's a very important caveat yes, <laughs> that's a very yes, important yes caveat. because 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 uh the reason is uh, you know i mean you can you can debate about this and and you know i have my own sort of conviction on this but but i feel like the engineers should know that there is a reason and you have to set the context for them there is a reason why we are doing this hmm. and we have to have an agreement between the product design you know executive team engineering team that look at some point this is going to blow up on our face everybody knows that right and we'll have to go fix it uh so so we should just make sure that if you're accumulating debt like debt works like that right you take a loan yeah. and you have to repay at some point right so 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 you have to have that agreement and i lead the engineering team should make that decision saying okay we get it we understand the context and by the way if you have enough transparency in the company and all the engineers have context like why are we doing this and this is growing and so on the right decision will get made because mm-hmm. engineers also want to be part of a winning team engineers want to work on a product that's doing really well nobody wants to yeah. work on a product that's not doing well right yeah. so 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 i think the the just be choiceful about the technical debt make sure that you are making those decisions that's one thing i would say um that i have learned the hard way mm-hmm. the second is you want to you want to also especially in that phase you don't want to draw hard product lines mm-hmm. what i mean by that is you want to kind of be a little bit loose in terms of your product exploration and and this may not this may not apply uncles to to like your core share chat app might be applying more to mod and and so on because you know you, you're 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 still scaling everything but but some of it is like still very early in terms of the product discovery and you don't really know how users will use your product right so mm-hmm. you don't want to like over over specify certain patterns and leave it a little bit loose and and maybe maybe focus on a few features and make sure that they land and don't try to have everything polished because mm-hmm. if you spend too much time on polish initially you mm-hmm. realize that you took away time from the core feature 
you yeah. rather folks fix the core features and your initial users will be more than happy to just love that feature and not yeah. and give you enough of a latitude to fix the polish later yeah. you know typically companies would go through these massive lists of priorities and yeah. say you know we have to fix these 10 bugs and we have to fix this you know maybe spelling is too much but like we have to fix this color here or whatever all that is great but that's not important right now the important thing is is your core product working yeah. right uh, you know if you're one or two flows are they working well if it's a video is it working well is it showing up like is, if, the, if the video is not even loading you can have a pretty ui yeah. who the hell cares right yeah. so so i think that that part is something which people don't understand and and they're like no 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 i'm not i'm embarrassed by my product mm -hmm. you should not be embarrassed by your product you should actually be embarrassed if your product is not growing yeah. you know so so i think that's the In other fact, other thing you should be a little embarrassed when you launch a product because if, if exactly you know, maybe you've done a like you've taken too long Absolutely. i mean yeah and and i know I, I think you know a lot of folks say that right it, it's because because this is the beauty of building technology products right like you build a product you put it out there you have an instinct you put it out there you have listened to some customers and so on yeah. but ultimately your users will use the product the way they think it works for them yeah. right you can be kind of sitting in your sort of you know, nice place or whatever and trying to figure this out, but like ultimately users are going to drive this. And, and if your product is growing and users are using it, it means you're doing something right. And yeah. then you have enough time to fix the debt, fix the polish, you know, all of that later, right? Um, and the third point I'd make in this situation is uh, sort of related to the second point also, but I think it's worth emphasizing. Always focus on the core flow hmm. or the core kind of, you know, value prop for your product hmm. and make sure that nothing comes mm. in the way of that mm. because if you start putting things in there which create friction for the user mm. which is the part the core part of your flow mm. i mean people will just give up like they won't use your product right so when you're growing what happens sometimes is every team has ideas right every team wants to like put stuff in it like oh yeah, yeah. i have this idea i want to put this i want to put this I, I you know every team is like i'm working on this amazing feature this has to go into this app mm. because that's where things will show up and all that so whoever is basically in charge of that kind of a uh, trade-off prioritization has to be very clear. Do not mess with the core, right? Mm -hmm. That this is the core, it's working. All the other things should just sort of feed into it so that we have this funnel and it's growing and it's all that. But the mm -hmm. core part is, uh, in my opinion, is the most important. So those are some of the things that, you know, yeah. I mean, we can go on for, for for an hour on this, but like those are some of the things that I feel. I think on, on the second point that you mentioned that, uh, like focus on on what really matters don't put too many things there, there can be a list of features that you need to be yes. on parity with a competition or like there are multiple teams coming in this actually reminds me of uh, when we were launching March, uh essentially so so we so tiktok got banned in india uh, we knew this large opportunity we want to launch a short video app and they were like so we got to know at at 8 30 in the night 29th june that this is happening it's a massive opportunity. So we've been building shared chat for six years. We know short video is a, is a massive content category and we want to launch quickly. Uh, so we have a meeting within 20 minutes. There are a lot of ideas. Let's start with this. Let's put our camera. We've built these camera features that put it in. And I think so, so the same voices in the group prevailed and what we decided, see people, there were like a hundred million daily active users using this product. All we need to ship is a feed of running videos. Make sure the app opens. When you swipe, you get to the next video. That's all we need. So the first version we shipped in 30 hours had just that, not even creation tools. Amazing. Because 95% of the people are just consumers. They're not creators. And you need to take advantage of this vacuum. So you lift the video player from Share Chat, make a new APK, and just make sure you have swiping videos. And we did that in 30 hours and launched. So I think that reminds me that this is a very extreme example where we had to launch right. in like uh, in 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 matter of hours, not even days. Uh, so so I think that really so so the so the your pace of shipping out, getting the product in front of the consumer in a in a good enough state is way more important than yes. having it polished and, and and shiny and then probably by that you're already too late. If you're in a Absolutely. in a large industry, a lucrative industry. They, there will be people who would be sort of going after it along with you. And they, if they don't care about the shininess and they launch faster, you already are losing users every single day. So I think that's a very powerful concept when you're blitz scaling. Speed is the mode. That is what yeah. you need to optimize for. And everything else gets yeah. solved uh, after yeah, that. Yeah, I, I would tweak your last statement just a little bit because I'm pedantic about this. It's not speed, it's velocity. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's it's a speed it's a speed in the right direction, right? Mm -hmm. So 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 but 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 you're absolutely I completely yeah. agree with you. I think that and and this is something which people um 
people are not trained to think like this, Ankush, mm -hmm. right? People are trained to be, you know, nobody wants to do suboptimal work, right? Like, like people feel value uh, and pride in terms of, you know, whatever work they bring, they want to do a good job and so on. And suddenly, if you know, you have this ethos, as you mentioned, which is, hey, um, we're just going to like do quick and dirty and get it out and all that. It, it's not consistent with a lot of people's thinking, right? And, and, and the people are like, no, no, let's wait. You know, will we be happy with this? You know, will I be able to tell my friends about it, right? Like they, they have all these sort of uh, constructs. So, so really getting everyone to focus on growth and saying, like, hey, we, we are in learning mode. We're going to grow and we'll figure this out. And yes, we will park this technical deck. We'll park this polish a little bit later. I mm -hmm. think that's the, the, the model that it needs to be managing.